You know how every few videos I have some excuse about why my voice is a little bit shot, why my throat hurts, and recently it's been that I was sick and that it was I'm recovering from being sick, but in the past it's been, hey, I tried singing Linkin Park or Trivium or Bolt for My Valentine or something like that. Well, this is one of those times. I'm working on a music project that I've had in mind for the last couple of years, and I'm slowly working my voice to being able to do a thing that it needs to do for that project. So my voice is a little bit shot, but we are gonna play some Two Point Hospital. That whole intro is completely pointless. And you didn't need to know that. I could just say my voice hurts, but you know, one day in the next decade, I say decade because I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna click start. By the way, I'm gonna have this this monologue going while I'm actually playing the game as well. Should probably you know do both at once. Oh my god. Point being, I'm working on music. It might come out in the next ten years. All right. So meltdowns hospital. The meltdowns power plant seems to be experiencing some technical difficulties. Bungle Technologies, owners of the power plant, have put out a press release saying everything is fine. No need to panic. The very same day, they also evacuated this nearby hospital. Apparently an experiment in their research department went array, and uh, Mayor Winsock has asked if we could take over. We found some intriguing research papers scattered around. Maybe we should continue their work? Hmm. Looks like the place needs a bit of a tidy up first. Also, rumor has it there are some very strange patients showing up in the local area. Okay. So, by the looks of it, we probably want to get rid of this, and we probably want to get rid of that, and we probably want to pause and get, uh, well, I, I don't actually know if I can build, wait, can I, like, work this side? No, I can okay. So, I don't know if I can actually build in here while there's litter everywhere, so we're gonna find out, I guess, and, uh, looking at it, it looks like I can, which is good news. And to be honest, I'm going to go with a pretty chunky reception. I don't have a lot of space to play with in here, but I'm, I'm going to take the risk and go for a chunky reception because let's be honest, we all like them chunky. And it gives us room to expand this thing as well, but that'll do for now. We're going to want to get a nice, where's the little radiator, the little mini radiator. There it is. Uh, that can't go, wait, can it go under there? No, but it can go over here. So right about there. And it can go right about there. And then I can go ahead and throw some flowers over on that side. We can do some flowers over on that side. And I think that looks all right. Although I'd like to move those ones to be a bit more in line with the other ones. And I think that's fine, to be honest. We can maybe do a radio because of course we can. Maybe some mini filing cabinets as well, just to, uh, you know, give the place a little bit of decoration. And that looks all right. I mean, is there anything else we can do? Can we do like a rug? Doesn't really look like it. We could do the giant dipping duck, which honestly, I hate everything about those things. I don't know why. I'm not sure why I don't like those duck things, but I'm not a fan of those duck things. So we're not gonna bother with it. Uh, now that seems like a pretty decent reception. So let me just get some benches. We'll get a GP's office and we'll just try and get this place open with, I don't wanna say as little effort as possible, but I wanna get things up and running, get some money coming in. I mean, we have a quarter of a million dollars, so actually we might be okay. We might be able to wait a minute, but regardless, I want some money coming in and I want the hospital to be running. Okay, so slight change of plans. I've decided to go for the regular reception desks instead because they take up a bit less space and things were getting a little bit cramped in here. We have a bathroom right here. We have a GP's office. We have a pharmacy. We have general diagnosis and cardiology, and I'm just trying to figure out what else might be worth doing right off the bat. I don't know if psychiatry would be a big focus on this, because I imagine we're mostly going to be dealing with the likes of people that have suffered from a nuclear plant melting down. So, you know, laughing as I say that's so maybe not appropriate, but you get the idea. I think this is probably a decent little start, though. So let's start by getting a few janitors. We'll get you. We'll get Trevor here as well, and that should be fine. In terms of staff, I'm thinking we'll go for Brangelina right here, who will increase the happiness of patients when dealing with them. And that seems like a pretty good start for a doctor. So we're gonna say that you are mostly, in fact, only going to work 
in general or sorry the yeah general practitioner a gp's office uh so that's fine over in the pharmacy we can get mandy grunt and that is going to be your main place of work as well since you do specialize in working in pharmacies and then we need a doctor that can do or sorry a nurse and a nurse that can do i guess sort of diagnostics so we have you right there georgia phoenix we'll grab you we'll set you up so that you are only going to be working in general diagnosis and cardiology and you can go back and forth between those two rooms i don't know how efficient that's necessarily going to be but that's what we're going to do then in terms of assistance let's go for kirk mackenbosch as a good starting point and we'll go from there i don't think we're going to need two assistants right off the bat but i do think we need to get some uniforms sorted out so let's go for godric's choice oh i've just realized what that's a reference to well i it might be a reference to it so those if you think about harry potter and think about the colors of gryffindor the founder of the house was godric gryffindor so i think i'm wondering if that's what that's a reference to i could look that up i'm not going to i'll i'm curious about your theories and feelings on that in the comments below uh, nurses are going to be set in the inverse uniform and then doctors what do we want to do with you we could make you a zombie i don't think it'd be appropriate i'm thinking we stick with honestly i kind of like the 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 orange arm stripe but i kind of like the blue trim as well i also want to mention i'm recording this video on like the 10th of november and the halloween stuff still going in this it is a little frustrating just a little bit i'm not gonna lie i really wish the halloween stuff would go away because a lot of the voiceovers on like the or not the voiceover sorry a lot of the songs that are on like the the radio like you can turn off the the dj and stuff like that you can turn off the the radio like voices and stuff but a lot of like the voices that are like spooky are baked into the songs so you're kind of stuck with them and it's a little frustrating i'm not going to lie also i want another assistant because this one has decided to sit and face the wrong way so that's fine let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit and let's start getting some people in here and see if we can't you know actually start curing people or at least get some requests for other things beyond what we have right now also please tell me where are you going oh you don't need a break already do you i'm not building a staff room right now we don't need it all right, we got you talking to a GP, and you have verbal diarrhea. Okay, so you're going for treatment in the pharmacy. That's fine. Honestly, I suffer... What, is, it, is it weird for me to say I suffer from the same verbal diarrhea? Yeah, I feel like it is. It's just vomiting, isn't it? I, I mean, it, it's... It's fine. <laughs> just vomiting. I don't suffer from chronic vomiting. I was going to make a reference to the fact that I don't shut up. But uh, I feel it feels awkward now. doesn't feel right. <laughs> it just feels a bit weird uh what are you going for so you're going for the pharmacy as well okay that's fine hopefully gonna have a good few people going for the pharmacy right off the bat to get us a little bit of easy money and just ease ourselves into this what do we actually need to do here so i didn't look at the the, the goals so a thousand research points is easy upgrade five machines we need a shock clinic and a dna lab oh my god okay let's spend some early money upgrading these guys and then so a shock clinic and a dna lab okay so what that says to me is that going for research kind of early on might not be a bad idea so doing something like that could kind of work out and then the door for it could go honestly the door could go there if i got rid of that chair so door for research there the research pod can kind of go I guess in that space and then we can do we can do multiple research desks but for now we're just gonna do one and i think that's okay same with servers we can do we can do some stuff in here at some point with like servers and all that but for now we're not gonna do that we'll also do hand sanitizer we'll do a nice large radiator as well and it's thirty-five thousand, but i think it's probably a worthwhile investment now you are ready for a promotion let's do it and give you a pay increase to keep you nice and happy and let's see do we have a researcher we absolutely do ellie poodle welcome to the hospital you're going in there and i'm going to set you up to make sure that you're only doing what i want you to do which is going to be research okay so let's get started
with a bit of research. We can go for a DNA lab, a shock clinic. We can upgrade the head office. We can get better research training. Let's just go for the DNA lab. Or rather, I mean, it doesn't matter which one we go for. We'll go for that one. And once we get it, we'll have generated the research points that we need. So win-win, basically. Got machines being upgraded, got research being done. Probably going to lose a massive amount of money because we're probably paying a lot of money for everything that we have. But that's okay. I'm sure it'll turn around, right? It's already getting to the point where I think we might need, well, two things. More chairs and potentially a staff room as well. So here's what I'm thinking for a staff room. I think I could get away with this and this. And then this can be another like clinic or something. Uh, in fact, I can sort of do with the staff room what I did with the bathrooms and I can just put the door right there, which it's a bit weird, but it, it works. Uh, we'll do a nice couch there. We can do, I don't know what we can do with this. Let's be honest. I guess we could sort of do this and we can sort of do, I don't know, this have sort of a weird, it's, it's like, like imagine standing against that wall. Everyone's just looking at you. It's like you're getting an intervention or something like that. Do a nice table in the corner. Do a nice retro TV right there. It's not going to be a great staff room, but it's going to keep them. It's going to let them chill a little bit, you know? And I guess that's that's what's important for a, for a staff room here. Uh, radiator right there. And in terms of art, can I get any on the walls? Can I get a rug in there? I actually can, but I kind of want to see if the Sonic one would fit better. <laughs> it actually would. Uh, so we'll do the Sonic rug right there. We'll do a nice Sonic poster right about there. And then we'll do like a medical poster or something next on the, uh, the other side. I think that looks all right. I think that looks looks the part. We can do a nice canvas in the middle and it just gets it to be level three. And that looks, that's good. Good little staff room right there. That'll keep everybody happy, It'll let them chill. And that's, that's kind of what we want. Now, in terms of benches, here's what I'm thinking. I think we do one there. We go there, we go there. And we go one, two, three. I don't like that bit being blocked there though. Mm. Okay. Okay. What if we move this? Actually, what if we just get rid of these bins for a second? What if we take out, I guess, these chairs here? And then we move this guy to sort of be back to back with, uh, with that one. We move this one as well. And then maybe these guys are kind of fine the way they are. So it gives us kind of an open space in the middle, which I kind of like. And then in terms of bins, we just go and say, you know, nice... Uh, big bin in sort of that corner. We can maybe get away with a nice big bin right by that door, which we absolutely can. And I I want to say that's okay. I want to say that's fine. Although I would kind of like more leaflet stands and I would kind of like more plants as well. So something like that kind of works out. And then we have that space up there for another like clinic or whatever we happen to need. So that works. 90 days without a death? Sure, we can do that. We'll just let things run and see how it goes. I don't actually know if I've added many more chairs there. I feel like I've added two. I feel like we took two away from here and we add, yeah, we did. So we didn't really add much is, is what I'm getting at. Didn't really add much to the way of chairs at all, but that's fine. As long as we're making money, we're fine. Uh, so who's this? Ellie Poodle? Okay, we'll promote you. You're happy enough. And we've discovered Misery Guts, which is a pharmacy condition. Okay. And what is this? Electrical storms have been detected in the area. This could damage our machinery. What? 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 Electrical storms? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. There. Oh, my God. Um. Should we be concerned that those are hitting people? I feel like we should be concerned that those are ever so slightly hitting people, but we'll, we'll not worry about it. I'm sure it's not a big deal. Uh, Mandy Grunt once promoted. We'll promote you right there. And we have two more machines to upgrade as well. Man, I do, I do want to upgrade them, but it's like 20 grand to upgrade these guys. I feel like just waiting is probably for the best. I'm also not sure that we're making 
much money because thinking about it the only curing that we're doing right now oh my god the vip didn't like the hospital the only curing that we're doing right now is in the pharmacy everything else is diagnosis and the pharmacy if i'm not mistaken doesn't charge very much at least i don't think it does well, I mean, we're about to find out, assuming this person survives, which hopefully they will. Yeah, so like six grand. That's, that's not, that's not that much when you consider everything that we have in the hospital right now. Although I guess we do get 500 for diagnosis or at least talking to the GP, so. Eh, fair enough. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, bad face or bad face. A quite alarming contortion of the face caused by sleeping in a strange angle. We need a ward. Okay. So we can get the patient to wait. So we could build a, a small ward right there. Or I could spend $30,000 to build one in there. Which honestly, I don't, I don't hate the idea of doing. There's so much stuff I can buy. Oh my God. Okay. They, I can, I can get a pretty big hospital here. Wow. Okay, I mean that's that's tempting. Thirty thousand for that one as well. I like the idea of this one, but we'd have to clean it. So let's let's see if I can get away with a teeny tiny little ward right there. I'm not sure that I can. I've got to be honest. I'm <laughs> really not sure about this. Um, let's move the door to the other end if it's gonna let me, which I think it it won't. Oh boy. Okay, so the door... Wait, the door can go there. So that's fine. And then the nurse's station can go there, which is pretty good. The screen is a bit of a problem, but I guess it can go way down in the corner. And then beds... I mean, we can kind of go opposite the screen. We can kind of go... Like, down here-ish. I don't think that's blocking anything. And can I get another one? I can do it sideways. I can, I can sort of, you know, throw a bed like that. It's, um, it's definitely not an ideal setup, but I actually, I actually wonder if that would work. Because if it would, that's, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit cramped. That's, that's kind of all I have to say about this ward. But if I can make this like a highly leveled ward, it might be kind of cool. So something a bit like that, maybe a nice like little bedside table. Uh, can, you know, slide into that spot and then, the, oh wait, we need a radiator too, hold on. Uh, we need a large radiator right about there and we need wall monitors too. So there, and I want this thing to be prestige level three, so I kind of need another one of these things. I can't do it above the bed, can I? Oh, I can. Okay, so that's fine and then we can do one, uh, say there as well, that gives us prestige three. That's a decent looking ward. I have no idea if people are actually going to be able to get around in there, but it's a decent looking ward regardless. So let's go ahead and get a nurse that can run it, which we don't really have right now. Although we do have you with treatment. So, I mean, as expensive as you may be, I feel like you're probably worth getting. So let's go ahead and do some stuff let's get you situated for i guess just the ward for now and that'll be fine so that's what we'll do we've got a ward going we've got people that can head up there they can do their thing go in hopefully navigate that absolute mess which it looks like they can't oh man that makes me really happy although the, nur <laughs> the nurse there having a little bit of trouble i saw that okay and now you need to be put into the bed what, what are you doing? Go and, go and let that person into their bed. There we go. Okay, so now hopefully they'll be they'll be able to uh, do their thing and recover. That'll get us a bit more money. And that's basically everything that we can build in this space. I mean, we can build more benches, but I don't... <laughs> I'm not really, not really that excited about building more benches. I'm going to tell you that not to disappoint. You know, I know benches are quite important, but uh, yeah, I'm not... Not all that excited about building, you know, six more benches, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, we'll also sell you, and in terms of items, let's move the... Let's move the leaflet stand to be there, and to there. And that seems alright. That, that seems fine. In fact, let's sell these ones, 
and let's do a luxury drinks machine there and a luxury snacks machine right there and then we probably want similar down this way which i guess we could go ahead and do luxury snacks right there and then luxury drinks kind of opposite and that's a pretty good little setup as well so that's that seems fine this seems like a good layout for the hospital hopefully it'll keep people you know paying me i would say being cured but i'm honestly more concerned about making money i'm not gonna lie it's you know it's kind of the point of the game really can't can't really be can't really be mad about it it's kind of the whole point point. and you know this looks fine now what do you want so oh i did the thing no one died that's a good point no one's died yet Ooh, this might be my most successful hospital so far aside from the fact that there's a huge queue at the gp's office okay hold on a minute illnesses is not what i'm looking for overview and policy so let's fast track treatment decisions and let's bring the threshold down to 80 <laughs> percent that seems safe we're also going to promote staff automatically and uh, that way we should see a lot of people you know being sent straight for treatment by the diagnosis rooms rather than back to the gp and then to treatment I say a lot more people we should see some people you know being sent for for treatments it might not be a lot of them but it'll be some of them and that's okay you know i thought i was being really clever by sending people for treatment and all that oh we got awards coming in good i'm sure we'll do great although i think we will get no deaths right yeah employer of the year and no deaths two things that i often don't get yeah i thought i was being clever by you know getting rid of the whole thing where we had to send people back to the gp but it seems like i wasn't being clever so let's buy this plot let me sell this this and this and we're going to need more gps offices so let me copy you and we can go one two we can get two over there so i'm gonna save that space uh we can go one we can do a bunch across there so let's do one and paste it and then copy you again and go right there and that'll be fine that'll be a, a fine little setup for some gps offices we can get some nice benches out front the way we always do we can get a nice large radiator just sort of tucked to the corner right about there that'll keep them relatively warm and in terms of other things i mean i feel like this is probably where we're gonna have like the gift shop and arcades and stuff like that and news agents but i don't think i want those things right now i think what i want right now well that'll be more gps so jackie nosh congratulations and uh, i guess we'll go with hugh, hugh dickens okay yeah that's that <laughs> his name his name threw me off for a second there i'm not gonna lie i thought it said something else <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I thought for a second that like somehow it said something else, which. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh, that really. <laughs> wow. I, uh, wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. That was, um. Oh, okay. Sure. That's that's fine. Doesn't say what I thought it said. Let's just get people into the GP, let them figure out what's wrong with themselves and get them to where they need to go. Good lord. 